Well, good morning, everyone, and how are you today? Pretty hot here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be setting up a new fan for my Tacoma garage, as I like to call it. This is the Tacoma garage. It's where all the magic happens. Now, what I'm going to do, and this isn't a mod for the Tacoma per se, but it helps me out greatly because I work out here every day, and it's hot and it's humid, and yesterday, my fan broke right here. You guys can see it. It fell backwards on the floor and the blade <laughs> snapped off. I guess there's a lot of torque on this little fan motor. Now, I've been nursing this fan for quite a while. The legs broke on the back, so I put these little metal pieces on here, I guess, to kind of stabilize it a little bit. It actually fell front down this time. Um, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but it broke, so, and it wouldn't work at all anymore. The motor must have just burned up real quick, I don't know. But, it's hot out here, and I need a fan. So today, I went to Lowe's, and I bought this, oh, what do they call it? Let's turn it around the other way. Pedestal fan, it's a plastic construction with matte finish. Seven and a half hour programmable timer. Don't know why I really need that, I'm guessing um, you can set it to run for some period of time. I suppose if you use it at night and you're sleeping or something, maybe it's for something like that. I don't know. But I thought it was funny. Um, I had to do a double take. It comes, it requires two AAA batteries. And then I got to thinking, gee, does that mean that the fan is somehow battery operated? I don't want that. Duh. It's for the timer. So anyway, I'm going to unbox that. We're going to set it up real quick. I thought it, I'd just show you guys uh, a little... Uh, a day in the life uh, of Rob Motive, of me, uh, and uh, sometimes you have to buy new equipment for the channel that doesn't have anything to do with the channel. Here we go. There. Takes care of that. Now, let's go ahead and get the new one set up because, frankly, it's getting hot out here already. So I'll turn you guys around. Hopefully this is, should be pretty simple to do, I would think. I mean, it is just a fan, right? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing out of here. Like I said, it's starting to get hot out here already. And it's amazing the things that you miss. You know, as soon as this thing broke yesterday, um, man, I started missing it. Uh, it started to get really, really warm out here. Not that it makes it any cooler. I mean, it is just a fan, right? But, all right, we have a base, nice and stout, I like that. There is a remote control. Uh, I don't know, don't really care to have that. And then, wow, we really do have to assemble here, don't we? Wow, make sure I get all the pieces oh my god all right this is going to be uh, a little more involved than i thought look at this all these pieces just for a fan wow styrofoam one of the worst things man ever created it's getting all over the place and i'm not even doing anything with it all right let's get all the components out of here. All right, do we really need instructions? You know, I hope not. Uh, I'm just going to look at the picture. So, first off, uh, looks like we're supposed to stick this thing somewhere and looks like it goes this way. So it has this little, I guess we take this off. Oh man, I might have to look at the instructions. Okay, yeah, we do. We take this thing off here. Interesting little idea. I guess they put this little edge on it to give you a way to turn it. I do like that, at least it can be done without tools, right? All right, stick this puppy in here. I don't think that matters, does it? Famous last words, right? 
All right. And then stick this back in the hole, I guess, and tighten it down like this. Not too complicated. Again, I love that you can do this by hand. Brilliant. Get it nice and tight. Hopefully I don't break it. All right, that's that part. Now we're supposed to stick the motor over this thing. Uh, I guess it just sits on there, looks like. There is a screw. Well, it obviously doesn't sit like that. All right. Uh, oops. Well. <laughs> okay. I think you're supposed to raise this thing up before you do what I did. I guess. I wonder how tall this thing gets. Uh, yeah, you are supposed to raise that up and then there is a screw. So we do need a tool. I do need a screwdriver. <coughs> Phillips head. So let me go ahead and grab that because you're supposed to apparently tighten this screw down on it here, I guess. Yeah, there's actually a ridge in here that the screw tightens up against. So let's go ahead and loosen this. Wow, that doesn't seem very substantial. I don't know how tight you want to go with this. This is just a cheapo, um, probably maybe aluminum, I don't know. Lower it down here so I can work on it. Now up here, looks like tilts somehow. I don't know yet. Okay, uh, see how we turn the fan down. I don't know if it's just, oh, it just clicks. All right, next up, we need to put the blade on, I guess. Um, let's see here, have this little protective piece here and then the blade is going to go right over this there's two little prongs that stick out I suspect yeah they go through the blade okay I guess that's what keeps the blade from going all the way in uh, and then uh, let's see we're supposed to it looks like we put this on next, but not like that. Okay. Goes counterclockwise, by the way. That's important. All right, we have that on. Now, we're supposed to put the, oh, well, I screwed up already, see? We're supposed to put one of these pieces on before we put the blade on, right? Oops. So, fortunately, we're not too far into it. Take that off. And then I'm guessing it's the one with all the slots on it here. I don't know how that goes on. Maybe this part. Oh, there we go. You look at the directions, you might be able to figure it out. Now, there's some slotting on this fan. There's a little nub that sticks out here on the bottom. And in looking at their directions, they don't get very specific as to how that fits. So, I guess. like that. All right, once you get it up there, it's pretty evident as to how it goes. So that's not too difficult. Go ahead and screw this puppy back on there. I'll be real interested to see how long this uh, fan lasts. Okay. 
I don't want to kill it, but I want it tight. Now, we put the blade back on. Make sure we're not hitting anything, and we're not. Put the cap back on. Again, this thing turns counterclockwise. And of course, it's going to want to turn. And I always overdo everything, so I hope I don't break it. Now, we got to put the lid on. Oh, more protective crap. Uh, more labeling on the front, by the way. You know, that advertising video that some people had issue with. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing, really. Have a little bit of humor. All right, let's, uh, let's see about putting this thing on. Uh, doesn't appear to be any rhyme or reason for this. Looks like it just kind of sits in its track. Okay. Well, that's pretty simple. Oh, I can hear the one comment already. I can't believe I sat here watching a guy put a fan together. I know it's coming. I know you're out there. All right, make sure we have all those tight. And I think we are now fully assembled. So next, I guess we got to put some AAA batteries in here, which I have. Let me grab those. Two AAA batteries. That's so you can work your remote, I suppose. That's it. Now, let's take this thing over, plug it in, get a little air blowing in here because, like I said, I'm hot. Okay, this is where it's going to live. I do like that this one's higher as compared to that box fan I had. Um, that'll be nice. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in. Remember when zip ties used to be metal instead of this new plastic stuff? Do you remember that? I do. All right, let's get her plugged in. Well, it made a noise. I guess that's a good thing. Um, let's grab the remote and we're going to go ahead and hit power, I guess. Let's see what happens. Nothing. 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 Nothing happened. Tip power down here. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That is nice. I can feel it already. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, it does work. Let's see if it oscillates. Oh, yeah. Oscillates nicely, I think. Okay. There we go. That will be cool. Now, let's see if the remote will shut it off. It does. Check that out. The ultimate in lazy man fan. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might just mount it here or something. Um, they actually did give a, uh, a little mounting slot here on the back so you could hook it over something. Um, so I might just put it right here on the wall. That way, when I want the fan on, uh, I can push the button, hopefully. And actually, it's pretty sensitive. You have to have it pretty much aimed right at the unit down there. So it's not like uh, an all-room remote where I could be standing and facing the wrong way. you got to be pretty much dead on to make that work. So uh, I may just lay it somewhere. Who knows? Anyway, that is the... Uh, Rob Motive Tacoma Garage Fan Video. Um, I know, it's not a Tacoma mod, but believe me, it, oh, oh, that's good. It comes in very handy, very nice for me when I'm out here sweating to death in this South Texas heat. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have one of these from, uh, from Lowe's. Um, it is made by, let's see, looks like uh, Utilitech. Uh, I believe, yeah, Utilitech. 
Um, so far, seems pretty nice. Uh, I am not sponsored by these people. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know what kind of fan it is. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you have one, how it's working out for you. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, check out my channel, my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Also, if you wouldn't mind, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay cool out there. Bye.